When comedian Matt Reif was just starting out, he was so broke that he had to crash on his buddy's couch. But now, he's buying cars for his mom and forking over thousands on sparkly new teeth. So just how much is he really worth? Matt Reif hails from North Lewisburg, Ohio. He never got to know his father, who took his own life when Reif was just a baby. His mom later remarried. He said on the Overachievers podcast that his mother delivered mail while his stepdad was a car mechanic. The expectation was that he would not go to college, as most of his peers probably weren't going to seek higher education either. Reif said on the Overachievers, "...everybody in my hometown just becomes a farmer or works at a Honda plant." However, neither option appealed to Reif. He told 1883 Magazine that comedy became his career aspiration after his mother won a pair of free tickets to a Dane Cook show. Matt's grandfather, Steve Reif, was supportive of his comedy dream. Steve started taking Matt to the Columbus Funny Bone for open mic nights when the aspiring comic was just 15. At the age of 17, Matt moved to Los Angeles to pursue bigger comedy opportunities. On the Chocolate Sundays comedy podcast, Reif said that he spent a year crashing on the couch of a friend. It took Matt Reif over a decade of hustling as a stand-up comedian to become wealthy. During an interview on the Naples Captain's Log podcast, Reif said that he had to give away free tickets to strangers for one of his earliest gigs at the Uptown Comedy Corner in Atlanta. He was just 16 at the time. Life didn't immediately get easier when he moved to LA the following year. I was out here for maybe like four months and then all my money ran out. Reif was going to start begging groceries to have some source of income, but he told Access that he scored his Wild and Out gig before his first day of work. However, it was TikTok, not the MTV series, that was the catalyst for his comedy career taking off. In 2022, a video of his crowd work went viral on the app. Reif told the New York Times, "...that video did 20 million views in two or three days. It became this massive chain reaction and an explosion of an audience." Just a year later, he launched his problematic world tour through Live Nation. In an interview with Deadline, the VP for Live Nation comedy touring lauded the tour's incredible global demand for tickets. The amount of money Matt Reif gets paid for his stand-up has varied wildly throughout his career. When he did a seven-minute guest spot for his late friend Ralphie May as a teenager, Reif thought the older comic was doing him a favor. So, the $100 he received was unexpected. On the BurtCast podcast, Reif said that May's generosity was inspired by comedian Sam Kinison. He goes, no, Sam Kinison gave me a $100 bill for my first guest spot ever. So I wanted to return the favor. I want to make sure you do the same thing when you're older. After Reif became a seasoned stand-up pro, the pay sometimes wasn't much better than that single $100 bill. As Reif noted in the New York Times, there were nights in 2022 when he brought home around $150. The start of the pandemic was even worse. Reif and his close pal Paul Alaya actually lost money when they self-funded some of their outdoor comedy shows. Alaya recalled to Deadline, "...Matt and I weren't working as comedians, and then we'd each put in $1,000 to set up a $2,000 show. Then we would make $1,400 in ticket sales." Fast forward to 2023, and some fans are paying more for two problematic world tour tickets than what Reif once got paid for entire shows. Over a span of two days, he sold 600,000 tickets worldwide. If you consider the ticket's $50 to $95 price range, that amounts to about $43.5 million in sales. Reif didn't get to pocket every penny, but he still took home a generous payday. While Reif might be best known for his stand-up, it's not his only income stream. He had steady work on Wild and Out from 2015 to 2017 and has dabbled in acting. A few of his credits include the horror film Black Pumpkin, the Lifetime movie Stalked by My Doctor, A Sleepwalker's Nightmare, and a cameo on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. However, in an interview on the Unlicensed Therapy podcast, Reif had this to say of his acting career, "...the TV stuff I've done doesn't pay shit. According to All American Entertainment, Reif charges up to $200,000 to speak at live events. He was also selling personalized videos on Cameo that could cost upward of $400 at one point. On the Stiff Socks podcast, he explained that he kept raising the price due to high demand. He observed that TikTokers were purchasing the videos and uploading them to their accounts to get views. Reif's marketing strategy of sharing his crowd work videos on TikTok is free advertising for his gigs. 
And on Instagram, he has a paid partnership with American Eagle. Reif also likely received a pretty hefty paycheck from Netflix for his comedy special, Natural Selection. In a 2015 interview with This Is 50, Reif said that he wasn't in the best place when he got the opportunity to appear on Wild and Out. My life was at the rock bottom. So, MTV deserves some credit for his comedy career. He developed a strong relationship with the network and was eventually offered a new gig, hosting the TRL reboot. He told unlicensed therapy host Ari Manis that he got to move to New York, where he lived in a swanky apartment and got paid $15,000 weekly. According to Reif, he was initially told that he would have a great deal of creative control over the show, but he later discovered that this wasn't the case. He was unhappy with the material he was forced to deliver, believing that it hurt his brand as a comedian. Every day I was waking up at 7 a.m. to go to set to read a script that was beyond unfunny. Reif also wasn't a big fan of the guests that the show booked. Instead of interviewing musicians like the previous host Carson Daly had, he was performing silly stunts with social media stars. One bit called for him to referee as a jello wrestling competition between two Vine personalities dressed in sumo costumes. At the time, he recalled thinking, I hate this. This isn't what I want to do for my yeah. life at all. MTV eventually realized he was unhappy and terminated his contract. It was the first time I realized money didn't buy happiness. Matt Reif asked the hosts of the Stiff Socks podcast to look up his net worth on the internet in February 2023. On an unnamed website, they saw that it was listed as $1.5 million. Just seven months later, he landed in the ninth spot on Forbes magazine's top creators list. His total earnings were estimated to be around $25 million. However, it took Reif longer to strike it rich than some of his peers predicted. Those who encountered him as a teenager and saw what he was already achieving were convinced that he was on the verge of his career blowing up. He told Caitlin Bristow on her Off the Vine podcast, Everyone would always say the same thing, like, oh man, you're gonna be so famous. If you're not a millionaire by 25, you f***ed up. And I was not a millionaire at 25. You feel a little bit like a failure. Reif was 28 when he made the Forbes list. One of Matt Reif's big expenditures early in his career was getting veneers. Reif's old smile can be seen in some of his early Wild and Out episodes. Beverly Hills dentist Dr. Karush Madahi gave Reif his perfect pearly whites. According to Dr. Madahi's website, a veneer for a single tooth can cost as much as $3,500. But new teeth isn't the only thing Reif spends his money on. When Reif appeared on his good friend Eric Griffin's Riffin with Griffin podcast, the younger comedian was roasted for spending his TRL money on a Ford Mustang, as opposed to something more practical like a Honda Civic. There's a very fine line between being responsible and enjoying life a little bit, man. Once he was more financially secure, Reif also bought his mom a new set of wheels as a Christmas gift. I, I got her a, uh, some, some like hatchback Hyundai. Reif also likes to spend some of his hard-earned cash on pampering himself. He told Esquire, I love me a good spa. I'm not a massage guy, but I do love a cold plunge in a sauna. He's also adventurous, revealing that he went skydiving in Hawaii during an episode of his Rife on the Road YouTube series. Then there are his tattoos. He told Access Hollywood that people regularly mistake his John Lennon portrait for Harry Potter. Matt Rife hasn't tied the knot yet, and his experiences dating have provided him with plenty of material for his stand-up routines. He also fields questions about his love life quite often. On Lauren Compton's First Date podcast, he shared that he doesn't mind being the lower earner in his relationships, revealing, I've dated women who make significantly more money than I do. He also says that he sees an upside to such an income imbalance. Reif said, It makes me want to work harder at my job, makes me want to earn more money so that it doesn't look ridiculous if you put our bank account side yeah. by side. Now that Reif is doing well for himself, he apparently still finds it difficult to shift his focus away from his career. This is where his girlfriend, actor Jessica Lord, comes in. The pair went public with their relationship in 2023, and Reif told People that Lord has helped him by getting him to remove his foot from the gas every now and then. He said to the outlet, She forces me to take personal time, obviously, and I love that. Whenever she's like, can we have tomorrow for ourselves? I'm like, thank you, I would love to have that. Matt Reif devised a brilliant method of promoting his first comedy special in 2021. 
Interestingly, it involved a social media platform that was not TikTok. As he explained to Swagger magazine, he came up with the idea of calling the special OnlyFans because his fans were helping him fund it and he was making it just for them. Rife set up a GoFundMe to raise money for the special, and his fans forked over about $17,000 to cover the cost of producing it. He recalled to Cinema Blend, I was like, okay, I don't have the money to shoot the special. Nobody wants to give me a special on any platform. How can I raise the money? Apparently, he could have raised the money through OnlyFans if he got really desperate. On Off the Vine, he revealed that OnlyFans wanted to partner with him after learning about his special, so he set up an account on the website. On the Chocolate Sundays comedy podcast, he said that he then started receiving X-rated requests from fans, adding, in the first month, I probably would have made 50 grand. Rife also admitted to considering some requests, but said that his tattoos made him too easily identifiable.